So there is one common question which most of gate aspirants uh, will be like what I could say will be having in their mind or will be always thinking about okay most most of them okay at their initial state generally at their initial state that is if you are going to give your first attempt of gate I'm damn sure that you will be having this question what is that question will previous year question okay will it repeat in the uh, will it repeat in the gate exam suppose I'm solving for the past 20 25 years of previous year question will it repeat okay in the next year that is and if that question doesn't repeat okay if that question doesn't repeat then what is the necessary for me to solve all those 20 years question if it is not repeating then why I need to solve it again that is something which I am going to talk about okay so first let me answer it okay the honest answer uh, the fact here is the question is not going to repeat exactly as such okay exactly whatever they are asking in the past uh, 20 years they are not going to repeat the same question again that is 100 percent sure maybe maybe in a very rare situation it might happen but 95 percentage i will give five percentage as uh, clearance so 95 percentage uh, the questions are not going to repeat now then why i need to why i need to solve okay why i need to solve the previous question very simple straightforward answer there are many many answers like i will be giving you all that okay the first first one the first thing is to check yourself or to check the reliability uh, how much like uh, the reliability of the study which you've done okay or another word what i could uh, exact word which i could frame uh, to check the uh, to check yourself how you have studied whether you have studied properly or not if you are able to solve at least some uh, 70 to 80 percent okay i'm not i'm not asking you to solve 100 percent of the previous year question if you are able to solve at least some 70 to 80 percentage of the previous year question in your first attempt itself that is after after like for example you might have taken some uh, online coaching or you, you would have studied by using some some standard books or some something you would have you you will be attending some classroom classes or whatever maybe okay so you are going to refer some source you are going to prepare, prepare from that right that is you are going to learn from that after learning it you are going to apply right where you will apply first try applying it in the previous year question if you are able to solve at least 70 to 80 percent of the questions as well and good you are wherever whatever the source which you have which you uh, relied on is fine okay so you you are you are you are you studied properly okay so you studied properly see i'm not saying that that is enough not saying that is enough this is the first step okay first and necessary step by doing this automatically you will gain some confidence now second thing as i said already they are not going to repeat the question that is for sure they are not going to repeat the same question again but they are going to repeat the concept for example they are asking entropy if, uh, just i am giving an example they are asking uh, a question from entropy every year maybe uh, 2021 also they asked 2020 also they asked 2019 2018 2017 all they are asking uh, from that topic then obviously you can guess that there are high possibility for asking one question from that topic again in this year okay so that is something uh, which is going to be useful so they are not going to repeat the question but they are going to repeat the concept okay so for identifying that which area is more important which area is less important where i need to give uh, or which area i need to revise more which area i need to revise less obviously if you are going to be mechanical engineering student um, approximately nowadays in the recent trend it's something like uh, 75 plus or around 75 is something which i consider it to be a safe score okay so if you want to get that safe score there is um, uh, there is no topic which you can skip there is no topic which you can skip but you can give importance to some topic more and you can give uh, importance to few topics less for example um, actually i don't want to make this video specific to mechanical okay so i want to make it as a general video you itself know right by practicing the previous year questions you will be getting to know okay right so uh, the question the topics from where the questions are repeatedly asked those areas are something which will be having some higher priority and the topics where the questions are not asked repeatedly that you have to give lesser priority i'm not asking you to skip anything for example the topics which is asked for the past five times six times then you have to revise the topic for more than five times six times your revision has to be more 
okay and then you have to practice n number of questions variety of questions there is one point which i want to add suppose uh, the past five years or six years suppose they are not concentrating on one topic more okay they are not concentrating uh, they, uh, like for the past 10 years they asked only one time then next year even though if they ask question from the topic that question will be of easy level or medium level okay that question will be of easy level or medium level they are not going to ask a very tough question from the topic which is not repeated frequently okay suppose there is one topic which is asked in all 10 years of the previous 10 year paper okay then there is huge possibility for asking different question a tough question from that topic so obviously if there is a high possibility uh, for a tough question from a topic then you have to put more effort on that you have to practice more questions variety of questions from that for identifying all this thing the only one source which you have is your previous year question even though the previous year questions are not going to repeat directly they are going to help you in n number of ways by which you can analyze yourself you can analyze the previous year gate pattern and you can analyze which topic i need to give high priority which topic i need to give less priority on um, what i could say so all these things okay so all these things combinedly will be helpful for you even though it is not helping you directly okay but it is going to help you in n number of ways indirectly that is why solving previous year question is a necessary step in your gate preparation there are many steps I, I, actually i made many videos regarding gate strategies i will try to attach the videos in the description box you can just check out in that in that itself i talked about everything regarding revision regarding test series regarding concepts where you need to study all those things but i have not given much i would have given it but uh, i'm not sure how uh, how many students would have taken it uh, strongly okay so i just want students to take this strongly previous year questions okay so even though even though the questions are not going to repeat they are going to be helpful in a number of ways i forgot to mention one very important one very important what is that uh, uh, help which the previous year question are going to do the previous year questions are going to give you a most reliable source see you might register for some test series you might get some uh, what is that workbook you might register for some uh, some you can buy some books some books which contain some 5000 questions or 6000 questions but how many questions are reliable in that how many questions are standard that is something you might get okay so out of 1000 questions you might get some 200 questions or 300 questions of a standard it depends on depends on uh, from where you are getting or something etc okay i'm not going to talk about that but previous year gate question all the questions are standard questions because all the questions are taken from iit profs so that is something which is which you are not going to get that easily okay yeah so for uh, the standard the level of questions the standard of questions uh, which you uh, which is something will be very useful okay now what i was saying about so other than previous year questions where can i rely of course you can rely on isro questions okay isro previous year question you can rely on engineering service question and you can rely on some good test series also okay so where the questions will be see test series is something where you need to practice some new questions some good questions some fresh questions test series is something which is not required for you to what is that um, uh, to practice the same previous year questions again okay for practicing previous year questions you have previous year questions right so test series is something which you need to uh, what i could say which have to bring you outside of uh, outside your comfort zone okay it should not keep uh, keep you inside your comfort zone it has to bring yourself outside of your comfort zone so you have to register for a test series which is similar to that okay so these are the uh, what is that uh, points which i wanted to share with you regarding previous year questions so that is necessary step okay, it's not sufficient of course i'm accepting sufficient step means there are many things see other than previous year question as i said i was talking about test series registered for a good test series by saying about test series i want to introduce our test series uh, endurance engineering academy is offering test series for uh, mechanical and also for engineering science in engineering science it's going to be a b d and e okay, there is mathematics uh, uh, mathematics and uh, 
uh, what is that mathematics fluid mechanics and uh, solid mechanics and thermodynamics of course aptitude will be included aptitude is a compulsory part okay aptitude plus these four sections are there in xc test series and mechanical complete test series you can check uh, the quality of our test series through our demo okay so we have demo uh, test okay i will attach the demo test link in the description that's it okay so not only previous year questions are uh, going to uh, like not only previous year, previous year questions is enough they are necessary okay and how it helps all those things has been already discussed with you in this video other than previous year questions you need to solve some new fresh questions also that you can take it take help from test series or standard books other any other source which you feel which is reliable and they are standard okay so that's it we will see in the next video